Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today guys, we are going to discuss third party control account in Oracle Fusion. So what is the third party control account and uh, uh, why we are calling it a control account and what is the third party account and how to, what is the purpose of uh, controlling the third party account uh, that we are going to discuss today. So let us start. So you can see here guys like uh, third party control accounts they are uh, mostly the supplier and customer accounts okay so they are the trading partners like from which like from uh, whom we are uh, either uh, uh, purchasing the goods and service or you are selling the goods and service to the customers so they are the third party accounts okay so we have a trading partner relationship with customers and suppliers and uh, that's why they are called third party accounts and uh, to track these third party accounts, third party balances, transactions, we need the third party information, right? Without this information, uh, usually you can't reconcile the balances for specifically for third party. Okay. That's why uh, there is a need to control these accounts. Okay, because all this the purpose is like all the third party balance or third party transactions or, uh, or you can say the payable and receivable account transactions, they should come from the specific subledger accounts. Like if it's a supplier invoice, it should come from uh, payable, uh, payable modules and if it's a customer sale, then it should come from receivable modules. That's why there is a need to control these account so that uh, nobody can enter these transactions directly in GL because if you create uh, this uh, use this accounts in GL directly and create journals then you don't have any opportunity to give the supplier and uh, supplier name supplier uh, numbers or customer name and numbers in the GL itself because there is no way you can uh, give this party information if you are creating any uh, journal directly in GLs. That's why we need to restrict these accounts and uh, just assign a third party control account for these accounts. So that's the main purpose of these accounts. Okay. You can see yes, the third party control accounts, the supplier and customer accounts, or it's called uh, payable and receivable accounts, and uh, mostly they are uh, liability and assets accounts. Payable. Uh, supplier payable is a liability account and uh, the customer receivable is an asset account. So I have mentioned here some of the accounts here, so first two are supplier accounts and uh, the other two, they are the customer account. So what is the purpose? I told you that if a third party control account are enabled, uh, the account enter is a third party control account. You must enter the third party information in the journal entry. Report. So there is a dedicated report to give like uh, to know the third party balance report to display the subledger balance and account activity information for supplier and customers. There is a report. So let me go to systems. And uh, let me create one journal, create journal. Okay. So I'll navigate to tax panel and create a journal for one supplier payable account. So I'm going to create a third party journal directly in GL. So currently this account is not mentioned as a third party account. For US primary ledger, category is manual. Okay.
So let me take this account. So this is a supplier liability account. And uh, it's it's a third party account actually. And uh, accounts payable third party account. So I am able to create this entry directly in GL cash account. Okay. So you can see I'm able to create the transaction here with this supplier account. It's a third party account, it's a supplier account and uh, I'm paying to the supplier and I created the entry directly in GL, which is uh, ideally it's the correct way to create the third party transactions. Because third party transaction, we should be able to track the balances and they should come from subledger accounts. So, that's why we need to enable that restriction so that the user should not be able to create any direct entry with these accounts. So let me go to similarly for customers. If I uh, this is a customer account, also you can uh, do same. Save it. So now what happens if I enable the third party control attributes to these accounts? I will not able to create transactions. So let us see. Manage setup account. Manage setup account value set value. Value set is the corporate account, okay? We'll select the corporate account. Manage value. And let us see this account it's a two two one one zero this is account payable third party control account but how the system will know that it's a third party control account so we have to give some additional attributes to this account so that it will give that restriction. So here you can see it's a liability account and the third party control account it's mentioned as no. So you have to make it as yes supplier control account right. If it is a customer account then we have to select the customer control account. So now I mentioned this as a supplier control account save and close. and uh, save and close. Now what is the next step? I, I have changed the attributes of a value set. So that's why to effect that change in the transaction, I have to run one program that is inherit segment value attributes program. Schedule process. The program name is segment value attributes. Inherit segment value attributes. Search that program name. And I have to run for US primary ledger submit. For every changes, if you are uh, any attribute changes you are doing for any chat up account value set, you have to run this program 
otherwise whatever changes you are doing it will not be uh, like affected to any transactions so now the program is completed so now let us uh, create the same transactions again you can see here like uh, this is third party control account i have created and uh, i am able to enter this uh, combination now create a new transaction create journal third party two manual so now let us uh, enter the same account again and see if the restriction is happening or not So you can you can see here uh, once i enable the third party control account for this uh, value you can see the combination cannot be used it uh, either does not exist or using it here it's not permitted so that means we have set the control for this account so that nobody can uh, use this account directly in gl okay so that is very necessary uh, for reconciliation purpose because mostly whatever we are selling whatever we are purchasing uh, from any third party that that should be reconciled properly and it should be correctly and we, we should create all these third party transactions in in ar and ap modules and we should not create any transactions in gl for this third party accounts so, so oracle has provided that functionality to restrict to control these accounts i hope you understand the concept of third party control account thank you for watching this video if you like this video please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, and click on the bell button to get the latest update thank you guys